Hey guys, it's a new year and we're working on a new project. And in this quick video, I'm going to take you through how you can animate text and other UI objects in Unity, like you see on the screen right now, without the need for any code. So let's get into it. If you don't already have it open, the first thing we're going to do is head up to the window menu at the top, select the animation sub menu and click on animation. That's going to pop up the animation window. So click and drag that somewhere more convenient to dock it out of the way. Then the next thing we're going to do is head into the hierarchy and click on the object that we want to animate. And in this example, I'm going to be clicking on my text mesh pro title text. You can see that in the animation window, we now have the option to add a property. And if you hit that button, it's going to give us a few categories that we can animate. You can take some time to mess around with all of the different options and experiment with what you can animate, but I'm going to pick the rotate option for this app. Now, if I go and expand on this newly added property, I have the option to rotate either the X, Y or Z or Z axes. The two rows of dots that you see here are the keyframes that we're starting with, representing the start and end points of the animation that we're going to create. I'm going to go ahead and set the values for the first and last Z keyframes to minus 1.5. And it's a good idea to keep the first and last values the same to make sure that your animation looks smooth. Now at around the middle of the animation, I'm going to click on the add keyframe button. And for this one, I'm going to set the Z value to 1.5. And that's really all I need to do for this animation. Now, if you go ahead and click the play button in the animation box, we can see how it looks. And it looks pretty good to me, but I think it might be going a bit too fast. So how do we slow it down a bit? Well, thankfully we don't need any code for this bit either. All we need to do is adjust the sample value, which is currently set to 60. And if I increase this value, it's gonna make the animation go faster. And likewise, if I go ahead and decrease the sample value, it's going to slow the animation down. So play around with this value until you find the one that works best for the feel that you're trying to create. Now there's just one last step for us to take to finish up the animation, and that's for us to record it. And all we need to do there is go and hit the big red record button, then play our animation. And you can let that run a couple of times and then go ahead and hit the record button again to stop the recording. And that's it. We've set up a really simple but cool looking animation for our game. Now to see how it'll look in game mode, let's hit the main Unity play button. And I think that that looks pretty cool and it took us less than three minutes to achieve. That's where we'll leave it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. We're going to be looking at tons of cool things in the upcoming series. So we'll see you next time.